What's up everyone? In this video, Jimbo is going to show you how to spool up your BFS reels, your BFS spools with braided line directly on the spool. There's many ways people do this. One way, some people uh, would tie a knot onto these holes that's generated for uh, weight reduction on your spool. Technically, that will work if uh, you know, you're not going to yank your lures off like trees or anything because that, that would definitely warp your spool. And um, one thing you want to be careful of when doing that is that these potentially could be pretty sharp. So with braided line, you could easily cut off your line. So if something's going to spool you when you hit to the very, very end of the spool, well, that is definitely, definitely going to cut off your line. And also if there's going to be a fish that's going to spool you, potentially putting all your force on one of these thing right here may not be a good idea. You might just warp your spool. So the best way to do this is um, obviously we don't want to backfill this with any line because there is not enough room to backfill the line, uh, the spool in the first place, right? And if you back, full, uh, back spool and you still tie like a, you know, your best FG knot, that knot is going to get in your way for the lines to wrap around your spool and you're also casting. So that's, that's bad. So you definitely don't want to do backing. I uh, know back in the past, people put like electrical tape on your spool. That's also bad because eventually the adhesive will just fall right off and get all over your reel and you need to do a real cleanup. That is a terrible idea. The best way to do this, do this is actually wrapped around your spool three times, right? And that will work really well. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this how I do it, and also the best knot for you to do this. All right, so let's get started. All right, folks, so I have two uni knots here. Can you guys see the difference between these two uni knots? You can see that this is the original uni knot that most people will tie, all right? And this is the uni knot that I like to use when I tie things onto a spool. As you see, this is so much rounder compared to this guy here. This guy here is like a freaking teardrop. And how I do this, is all you have to do it is instead of doing your uni knot right on your line facing this way, right? Let me get out this line out of the way so you guys don't get confused. See, this is your typical uni knot. You do your uni knot and you do the wraps pointing the tag in that way. Well, instead of doing that, what you want to do is create your loop going this way. And then while you have the loop this way, again, instead of tying your knot this way, you tie your knot with the tag end facing this way into the circle. All right, so I'm gonna do that very quickly. One, two, three, and just for sakes, I'm just three wraps, but you know, for uh, a spool, three to four wraps is more than enough, okay? You don't want the knot super big, especially if you've got thicker line, because that's gonna impede in, you know, your lining up, your wrapping of your line onto the spool. But here it is, that's it. See that? Definitely not a teardrop shape. And I like to have the tag end pointing back to you. So this line, see it lays down exactly flush. A lot of flatter. Just a personal thing, it's very small. I don't think a lot of people will notice it anyway, but I, I kind of do when I you know, tighten this thing, this loop onto my spool. I never liked it, so I always face mine the other way. The first thing I like to do is take off your plate, take out your spool, and then, Make sure your spool is secure, doesn't, <laughs> you don't want to roll off the table. But yeah, uh, you want to take your line and thread it through the guide of your reel. And I normally don't, uh, don't do it after it's tied. I like to thread it in first before I tie this special reverse uni knot. All right. So once you have it through your reel like that, you put this in here just like this and you basically don't cinch it down right away. What you want to do, because if you cinch it down right, right away, right, and I'm just gonna do it just for uh, demonstration purposes, is that if you have one wrap, okay, and this is one wrap right here, tighten it for you guys, you can see that it's gonna go around the spool nonstop. Your, your line will never get uh, reeled up, okay? So what you want to do is wrap around the spool a few times, and you guys could do this by, you know, wrap it around the spool manually three times before you tie your knot. Or you could be like me, tie the, the special uni knot first, put it on with a big loop like this. And what you could do is twist your hand and it twists the line. See that crossing right there? Then you take that crossing, put it through the spool. And I like to cross the other way. 
and do it one more uh, time. So three times total, you have a, three, a total of three wraps onto your spool. Then you cinch it down and you cinch it down. And what I like to always do too is make sure my guide right here for my reel, right? It's where my line is gonna line up. So since I have it in the center, what I wanna do is push this to the center and some spools does kind of concave towards the center a little bit, like a little V so that you could have your line right in the center, especially with that knot. It will help with that knot, right? So what you want to do is get into the right place and you want to cinch it down. You want to wiggle your line left and right, just like that. Exactly in the center because again, that's where your guide is at. And now you just take your line, pull your line out, put, put your spool right back in to your reel, just like so. Make sure it's seated properly. Then you close down, okay, close your plate. And now, behold, I'm gonna have this thing pulled. Oh, I have my drag on, pretty good. All right, see that? Drag, let me tighten it, do, 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 do. There we go, so look, it's pulling. It's good, right? There you go, that's how you spool up your BFS reel with braided line directly onto the spool. Hope you guys enjoyed this tip. If so, smash that like button and subscribe for more tips. The fish don't wait. Get your stuff cranked up, ready to go, and go catch some fish.